Yo, what up everybody? How are you today? Would you like to hear some good news? Too bad. More police news. From the, th the Free Thought Project. This is a great source of truth in the legal system. Okay? So people say, I bait the cops. 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 But look who's baiting who. And this isn't just a... They do this all the time. They set up... Okay, let me read the title. Watch. Cops set up bait truck in low-income neighborhoods to entrap poor people into stealing. Chicago police have been accused of entrapment after setting up a bait truck in a low-income neighborhood full of expensive goods that were easily accessible by John Vibes. <clears throat> so, Chicago, Illinois police in Chicago have recently come under criticism for setting up a bait truck in a low-income area with the intent of enticing people to steal from it. The truck was left wide open with expensive goods like brand new shoes and appeared to be unsupervised, but there were police watching just out of you waiting to catch anyone who might give in to the temptation. Alderman Roderick Sawyer, sixth chair of the city council's Black Caucus, pointed out that police in the city have more important things to do than target low-income neighborhoods with traps. This bait truck operation is unacceptable and inappropriate use of police resources. In a moment where police capacity is clearly under extreme strain, these sorts of tactics are the last thing we should be spending manpower and energy on, Sawyer said. The operation was exposed by a local activist. See, it's an activist. You have to be an activist. You have to put yourself out there. You have to take a few risks. They don't have to be big risks. And especially if you got a clean record, you should have a ton more confidence. So an activist exposed what they were doing. The operation was defended by Susan Turpe, a spokeswoman for Norfolk Southern Railroad Police, who said that these areas were targeted because freight trucks have been burglarized there in the past. So why can't they watch the freight trucks to see if anyone is actually going to steal something that would actually be there in real life instead of you staging it there? Suspects saw parked on Mark trailer, then proceeded to cut open the safety seal with box cutters, Broke into the back of the trailer and only when only then did they find retail shoes and unmarked brown boxes previously secured and hidden inside. Uh, let's see, one of the people arrested was a deaf man who could only communicate through sign language. He was arrested. He told the officers that he had entered the truck in search of food. Despite the excuses from Norfolk Southern Railroad Police and the Chicago Police Department, this situation is obviously clear case of entrapment. So this uh, again, this is why I say this website the free thought project is really good i'm not going to read this whole thing but this is good right here this is how you learn stuff people entrapment the conception and planning of an offense by an officer and his procurement of its commission by one who would not have perpetrated it except for the trickery persuasion or fraud of the officer according to legal precedent sorrells versus the united states so right here, this is where you should say Sorrells versus the United States is a case about entrapment where an officer uses trickery or fraud to get somebody to do something illegal. So I learned something. Sorrells versus the United States. Got to repeat that a few times. Obviously, this truck. Okay, so that's good enough, man. Go to the Free Thought Project. Support them. Uh, this is, again, this is by John Vibes. It's a very good article, sir. Thank you. Um be just uh ba -da -da -da, ba -ba 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 -ba. if you want to become a member click on the join button underneath the video please subscribe for free click the subscribe button buy my rings john's coin rings on etsy and i really appreciate you guys man have a good day stop baiting people again i get accused of baiting people you see who's baiting who and they do this all the time and it's, and for what? So they can arrest poor people? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Why is there eight hot dogs? Why is there 12 hot dogs but only eight buns? I mean, really? <laughs> All right, bye.